So hmm. let's go ahead and let's do our Q and A, right? Hey, so one of you motherfuckers just sent me a question about Homestuck on on Tumblr, so you don't get to ask it in here. Ah, <laughs> all right. So let's go over again how Q and A is going to work tonight. The uh, just because people are going to need a refresher. So many of you have already donated for questions, and you were correct to do that. Um, the uh, if you'll recall, Q and A, we're going to set the chat into slow mode. What clip? What are you guys talking about? Audio clip. Oh, do we have the it? Clip from I put yeah, it in Discord. You put it in Discord. Oh yeah, let me pull that up for you. It's like half a second, so. What channel is it in? The main one? Oh yeah, yeah. it's in the main one. Here, listen. Have to kiss me after the test. Have to kiss me after the test. It's a little cut off, but yeah, that's the Black Mesa scientist guy. The uh. Have to kiss me after the test. After the test. That so. Back, back to what I was saying. Um, the, uh, so yeah, for Q and A, here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna put the chat in slow mode. Um, any of you who want to ask questions but don't want to donate, that's fine. It's just as valid of a way to ask questions as donating. The uh, we're gonna put it in slow mode, which means you're gonna get to ask like one question every minute or two minutes or so. Um, the uh, now. Uh, your question may get glazed over. We're not gonna be able to answer every single one. There's there's a lot of you. Um, the uh, and if you don't, it's, least gonna five of you. it's gonna guarantee that I at least see it. Um, the uh, and at least increase your chances that the question gets answered. I'm gonna do my best to read to answer all of the good questions. But remember, I'm not gonna answer your question if one we've already answered it. Two, it's better suited to be answered during the Act Four, um, the Act Four stream. Uh, the uh, or if it, if it will be referenced and answered like just in our own commentary, and then three, um, if the question is bad, because it's true that there are some bad questions. Like, I legitimately have someone donated and asked like, was that Gmod and not VR chat? And it's like, yeah, yeah. All right. So also, if, if you spam your question over and over again, we're not going to read it. It makes us less likely to want to read it. All right. Yeah. So um, let's go ahead and begin. Uh, I have to log into Streamlabs here. I got one for you. Go right ahead. Uh, it says, Holly, ask Wayne my question. <clears throat> my question, please? Yes. Oh, yeah. Let me we'll make the video. It. Let me make we the just, video public. Hang we on. just did answer it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah. Gert, Ger, you should also link your video. Um, I did. The, uh... I'll link it again at the end. Oh, now I have to fucking All edit right. part four. Also, the... please, for the love of God, for the sake Ooh, of God, you. shitting up the chat. Don't do the fucking oh question for so and so bit, and then not ask anything, please. We've had two here's, streams here's of that already. It's please not cut funny the joke. anymore. Stop. I disagree. That you're just choosing to spend your slow mode question. It's That's really true. funny. You, you waste it. You, you get one question yourself. every two minutes. You get one question every two minutes. A uh, comment buncher donated one sixty nine. Said awesome balls, dude. Thanks. Nice. Um, <laughs> nice. Uh, great cam. Yeah, yeah. Let's do donation great questions cam. first. All right. Uh, you already got donation questions. Until until you until you found a good one, someone did just point out that they're gonna name their next dog Sprite. So the first ten donations were I questions about Sprite. the the first ten donations were questions about like balls cam and McDonald's. There. So we're skipping over all of those. <laughs> <I don't... laughs> good job, good job wasting your question. Arsenic kneecap says, "What types of music would your respective characters listen to?" I've already been asked uh, that on my own stream. Did we? Did we already go over that? Uh, no, on my own about... stream. Oh. Yeah, you want to know about Bubby, you got to go watch my VODs. I have a question uh, uh, from Mavis Beacon in the chat. Mike, why do you sound exactly like my real f human friend, Michael? That's not for you to know. <gasps> so Bobby so only listens to happy hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> Wormcore. <laughs> There were no scripts. Oh, it was all improv. I think Coomer. I don't know. I I I I'm like split on two sides of this. I think oh, shit, Coomer I would like song. listen to like Ooh. classical and like blues and stuff. But also the idea of him listening to thrasher metal seems correct. I think my Gordon is the guy who had uh, his iTunes library consist only of "In the End" by Linkin Park. It had sixty nine thousand plays on it. <laughs> Oh. I don't think my girl had very good taste in music. Say, I would say Benry is clowncore. Yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. Clowncore and then binaural audio beats. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the only the audio songs. 
the only human album of music that G-Man uh, has any knowledge of is Remain in Light by Talking Heads, so that's it. He doesn't know of any other music. There's only one song in the world. There's only and one song. It's once in, a, once in a lifetime. Once in a lifetime. How about Bubby? Oh, what was what, did, what was it that I said about Bubby? Baby. Dr. Feelgood. He's Doc in the car. <laughs> Feel yeah, Bubby likes Dr. Feelgood. Bubby definitely likes Dr. Feelgood. Dr. <laughs> Feelgood. He's the one I mentioned. But Bubby All also right. definitely has very shit taste in music. Good. Def like... Ooh, this is a man someone... who's intelligent in some ways and fucking idiotic. By the way, bits bits don't come up for me in my history in the same way the donations do. But I saw somebody just donated for ten thousand bits and asked for somebody to say trans rights. I'm not sure who, so I'll just say it trans rights. Um, the uh, trans rights. Yeah, what baby. Was that? Uh oh, Doctor Coomer's going through a rough. I'm saga. Doctor Sludge. <laughs> the rough saga. <laughs> this Doctor <laughs> Sludge. My favorite <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Coomer <laughs> That's Dr. Coomer if we went all in on the Coomer side of the name <laughs> Yeah baby uh, This is this is Dr. Coomer <laughs> <laughs> right, any, any more questions? What the fuck What are the fucking there, uh, there are so many of you that donated for just like bullshit tonight I mean like thank you I'm I'm <laughs> I, I like I'm, I appreciate the donations but Look at the broccoli in there is not a question. <laughs> hey, oh, hey, if, hey, if we skip all these questions, that's an easy Q&A. Oh, that paid question is from the last answer. stream when I was eating broccoli. <laughs> oh, you fucking done. That's why. That's bad. Bad. That, it doesn't do anything to separate the dates. There's still a lot of bullshit questions. Someone like, said I sounded like the smoker from Left 4 Dead, which makes me happy because I like doing that voice. <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> Yeah, both Gurr, both Gurr and Holly do good <laughs> smoker noises. Uh, Jane, Jane Doe Walking uh, donated and asked, question, does the crew have any favorite fan works? And yeah, we actually answered this another time, but I do want to, I'll answer it again because there's new ones. Um, the, uh, somebody on Twitter, I retweeted it, I'm sorry, I can't remember your name, I can't remember my fucking, anybody's name, apparently. Um, What's your yeah, name? Made, made, oh, oh, made a comment. Uh, somebody made a comic about the the gang going to Disneyland, and it's really fucking good. It's fucking awesome. I was yeah. laughing this morning when I saw yeah, that. Good. If I had oh, the money, yeah. if I had the money to commission and pay someone to like make a full full fledged graphic novel, I'd probably pick them. But let me just I look up who that, that was because I like. Yes, you could pull it, was, it up very it was, easily. It was, I could pull it, it up very easily too on Twitter. Uh, you cut uh, out. So fuck. did uh, I? God damn it! It was Frank it was my, Toon Toon Butch. Toon Butch. Yeah. Toon Butch. My recent favorite is um, after we did the last stream, I was wondering if anyone would draw fan art of me feeding Scorpy the All Dogs Go to Heaven 2 joke as G-Man, <laughs> and yes. someone did exactly that. Yes, oh, I, I saw that. that. I, forget, I, I forget your name, but thank you for doing that. You just got such a great idea in my head. I would fucking love like a graphic novelization of the series. Oh, yeah, but mm -hmm. like... Jesus. In infamously that... Dorky, yes. That is who made that. Oh, Infamously I Dorky, thank you. I can't find it right now, but uh, someone did draw the science team pointing a gun like at yes. Bert Gordon, first person, telling him to eat the brown part of the banana. <laughs> yeah. I think I have that one. Uh, that was very good. Uh, oh yeah, you drew uh, that, Mongrel Mongrel Records Mongrel Records on Twitter drew a picture of us. They, they they depicted the scene where we were all in the back of the car and like Benry going like road trip and Tommy going do you know how to drive? It was a very good one. I have the oh, I have yeah. the banana picture. First I have Disney's though. I don't want to uh, see. I I have <laughs> I have a question I want to answer really. Quick. Oh shit! Go for uh, it. Are, are, is the sneezing over? I don't want to interrupt. Yeah. That. I've, okay. Yeah, they need to uh, hear it. You don't want to question for the Holly. Question for Holly: Will you do Alex in Half Life Two, or are you going to continue as Coomer? I can't anything about the half-life 2 series for obvious reasons but i'll say this much with how scripted the game is i don't know if any of us could replace alex without a lot of work also the it role was... of alex the role of alex might be very boring too the yeah. uh, like because you have so many things that you need to do specifically the uh listen like i said i'm trying not trying not to say too much about half-life 2 the uh we have Don't many ask. plans already, and we cannot say a goddamn thing, so don't we'll even cross ask. those streams when we get there. Please look forward to it. We'll stream those streams, too. Please uh, understand. Yeah. Uh, 
That the the eat the brown part of this banana was by Post Furious on Twitter. Very good art. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Yeah, but I, Ger, Ger's in love with the idea of a of a novelization, a graphic novelization. I can't fucking afford that. I'm not. I'm not the Adventure Zone. We're not making. We're not making the Buku Bucks. Okay. We're, we're we're not yet like an online media empire, but I mean maybe someday. Uh oh. Just give uh, me lots, and lots of money. Money. I don't, Someone has I don't money to, to pay me to do it. JXX do it. asks question for the crew. Do you think with a fan base like this, you'll ever get fandom drama? We're gonna be hands off. Fuck that. Like I'm not. Yeah. That's you, guys, you guys get in your own <laughs> drama. You solve it yourselves. Like I love yep. the fact that there is a fandom for this. I'm not involved. I won't be. You guys can do anything you want. I'm it's working not, a full time job. I don't have time to keep wrong. track of what's yeah, happening yeah. in the fandom. No, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not about to, to. I'm not about nothing. to hunt people down and get mad at them for interpreting a character incorrectly. Like that's not our job. That's What's job. wrong with you if you don't think Doctor Coomer has really big nose and it shoots fire out of it? What's wrong? There's someone. The there's someone. There's someone who plays like Tower Unite with a model of Doctor Coomer, except he's got a really long nose and a really long twiddly mustache, and like I don't know what it is, but it's great. <laughs> Dr. Coomer, if he was possessed by Snidely Whiplash. Finally. <laughs> Pseudo Udo124 in chat says, I love the cum. Awesome. You had Thanks. Said it, I Thanks. Ven <laughs> Venomized, Venomized Darken donated and asked, Hey, it's the person who named their puppy Benry. Thank you. It's the cutest fucking oh, dog. Oh it's my the cutest god! Fucking dog. dog. Really cute. I'm gonna That's I'm gonna put dog. Benry on the screen in a minute. Um, so the, so uh, we've got we've got the dog named Benry. We have someone who named two of their baby ducks after characters in the series. Aww. An anonymous person on Tumblr this morning told me they're getting a hamster and naming it Coomer. Somebody asked me they're they're naming a snake after me or something like that. I didn't answer the the Tumblr post yet. Wayne the asked. snake. Oh, here's Benry. Chat, you guys ready to see Benry? Because this is the cutest fucking dog. I'm jealous. Your dog is so goddamn cute. Venomized Darkin. This is a good dog. This is, this is Benry. Look at Benry the puppy. Dog. Look at Benry the puppy. He's got such a Get stupid a dog. dog. Yeah. I, I'm having a hard time. There we go. You a little bow tie. That's a little puppy. Look at Benry. Benry's a pretty good mm. pet name, actually. That's <laughs> a little puppy. Yeah, dog. it's like it's like it's like just stupid enough to be a dog name. Like yeah. that's you know what he's you know what he great. you know what he's thinking. Let me out of this box. <laughs> Let me out of this box. <laughs> look at the little look at the bow tie and the big ears. <laughs> okay, we actually didn't. Him. We got a lot of donations, but a lot of you guys just didn't ask questions. Which I mean, I guess this makes it easier for Wait, me. That means that means Thank it's you. That means we go to the chat. Thank you. Yes, I got from the chat. All Oxus, questions answered. Oxus Dev, all <laughs> We're questions done. answered. Turn the stream over. Dev donated and donated four twenty and said weed ass. It's not a question. Cool. Nice. I can Thanks. answer that. <laughs> yeah. What's, yep, yep, yep. Go ahead. Yeah, bro. <laughs> all right. Next question. Next question. From okay. the chat. Do a few from uh, the chat. Uh, uh, question for Holly. Why was Dr. Coomer confused about the knife person? Forgot his name. Sorry. The knife... <laughs> the knife person? CEO of Valve and he has a huge knife collection. The joke I was going for is, oh, Coomer is suddenly the fact that he's in a you video game and everything time. that entails. You got cut out big time by your net. Piss ass. The joke I was going for is Dr. Coomer is like slowly becoming more aware of like what he is and what he's stuck in and like all the details of that. And he goes, Oh, Gabe Newell. Yeah, that's the dude who made me in my game. Why do I know that? That name. <laughs> Why did you just get like low bit right there? What the <laughs> that fuck? Was great. That, that was, was great. Awesome. That was great. That was good. That's Discord, my power to do anything. Discord, no, Discord's been doing that for the last couple of days, where if you get really loud, it just compresses you instead. Limited, thank you for the donation about the Star Wars thing. Noted. Um, the uh, Dragon yeah, Lupin says, Dragon Lupin says, what did the skeleton's passport say? You. You saw that. You. Yeah. Um, the, let's see. The music's a little loud. Uh, red, oh, it is. Someone, mm -hmm. a someone asked this earlier, but it was like a, uh, it was sore Oz, and they asked, "How impactful has this been for everyone's career?" Uh, big. Uh, it is literally the most important thing that I've done yet, especially like, for Wayne. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it has for, for full time. It has allowed me to start having an online yeah. career. I'll put it that way. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. the, uh, my follower it's... count went up really bad on Twitter. <laughs> it's been. Yeah. It's yeah. So. It's been very important. 
the I've done uh, I've done a lot of things in the past where it's like I remember people saying, uh, "Trog, I have no idea. You could test it yourself, but I don't think Let's so." Let's find out. Um, the <laughs> I, I find doubt out. it. I doubt it. Um, the uh, what was I answering? I just totally well, zoned know. out. What Online presence. About? Right. I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> Okay, I've seen oh, wait, like. No, 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 I remember, I remember, I just remembered. The fucking. There, there's been times where people are like, oh man, Wayne just did this crazy thing. I'll be mad if he doesn't blow up. The, uh, like, like two years ago, I streamed myself dressed up as a caveman streaming Fortnite, and I <laughs> called it Rock Night. And uh, I got like 250 viewers, and I had the number one Fortnite clip for two weeks over like Ninja and Shroud. And people were like, this is the one. My man Wayne's gonna great. blow up over it. And it really was just like. The, the boost that Rock Night gave me was like. The boost that Minecraft, the, the the one time I got a really popular Minecraft clip on Twitter gave me was like, that, the Minecraft clip allowed me to start getting triple digit viewers, and then the boost that Half-Life VR has given me, somewhere, I lost it, I lost my hand, don't know where it went, I can't even see the top, okay, oh, it's gone. Okay, uh, you guys got any chat questions? Thank you all. Yeah, I have seen like 15 okay. people asking to see my bird. Nice, nice, nice. You want, I put a picture if you want you to put her up on the screen. I'll, I'll yeah. put a picture of Tori. Yeah, so my first name is Jazz. You've all seen Jazz. This is a picture of Tori for those of you that haven't seen Tori. This is what, this is what, oh, this is what the member of oh. chat who's been squeaking up this whole time has looked like. Confirmed. Confirmed. It's her. Confirmed. confirmed. It's her. It's the confirmed. bird. She that's is, the bastard. That's the bastard that's been she's making winking. all the noise. She that's looks the smug. bastard. She, she is like she's holding a knife. Mm, I love her. She is. Chat's going too fast, but someone did have a good question. They asked us where we got this idea from, like the idea for the series. Like so video. I, in Half Life, so one time I had this idea to stream Half Life Two. Uh, like the like I just wanted to play Half Life Two in VR, but I was like, you know, if I just do that, it's not going to be super. It'll be kind of entertaining, but it it won't be like fantastic. Hi. The uh, so I, so my idea was like, okay. Let's stream Half Life Two, but let's put let's do it in a Gary's Mod server and let's put a bunch of people in there fucking around. I've talked about this before. The right. uh, and then like, and then I you know we've answered this exact question before, but I'll, I'll keep oh, going. Oh, we have. I'm yes, sorry. we have. Yeah, we definitely um, have. The uh, but like Half Life One. Uh, but then with Half Life Alex coming out, I was like, oh man, I want to get caught up with the Half Life games, so I want to play Half Life One. But I want to do something interesting, and I was walking my dog, and I had this idea, and I immediately dialed into the Discord call, like guys. I have the best fucking idea. We're gonna do that Half Life Two thing, except we're gonna make it more character centric. And I and I literally I had Scorpy, Holly, Gur, and Balb already like in mind for the roles of the characters. And I immediately was like, "Yeah, I want you guys doing this, this, and this." And uh, and the rest is history. Um, yeah, but I already answered that one. Sorry, I fucking forgot. Balb. <laughs> uh, I have two questions. Mm -hmm. Um, one. I actually wrote this down. A fabulous whale asked, "Was it stressful at all trying to make everything, uh, make sure everything was working out, knowing that it was live and it was essentially one take?" As I've said before, I come from <laughs> real theater, so I've stood in front of like several thousand people and have like done actual shit with my human body. So making sure that like mm -hmm. a, a fucking video game stream went fine, it was fucking nothing. It was good. <laughs> it, would be, it would be funny no matter what the fuck happened. So it was, it was fine. However, for my me, man was for forged me. in the fires of theater hell. For, For me, me pulling a, many more strings. Than Gur, Gur I, actually had the hard part. Like I Gur, did like, end up getting kind of stressed for some. Here's reason. the thing. Yeah, I'll say this just. To, I think I don't know if I've said this on the stream, but I'll say this on the record. About like eighty percent of. Uh, I also a second question. Like uh, how uh, someone asked, like how often do you have to mess out with things out of game to make sure it didn't break midstream? Eighty. A lot. Eighty to ninety percent of the actual technical workload of this whole thing was Gur. Gur put yeah. forward an incredible amount of effort off stream and like while he was playing Bubby, making sure that everything went smoothly. Mm -hmm. I was literally brought on because like when Wayne did this in Half-Life 2, Gur was the run one running all the map changes and stuff like that. And he couldn't do that while he was busy playing a character. So mm -hmm. I'm literally just like an yeah. extra hand. Gur was actually handling all the work. So direct all of your questions or all of your uh, appreciation for how everything went technically to Gur because he did a lot yeah. of work to make yeah, this all come and together. Those first two parts, those were done in my free time while I was working retail during the uh, shitstorm. Yeah. What happened? Yeah. So yeah. Girl, I was little, the, the first, the first half of the series was was, uh, or I guess the the first the first three quarters of the series was when I was in the process of like quitting my job and shit. The uh, and then 
I quit my job on April 2nd, and then the finale was recorded April 9th, so I really got to go ham on the, the Act 3 recording, yeah. the Act 3 editing mm -hmm. and the Act 4 editing. But yeah, I was very happy. It yeah. was, like, coincidental. I had plans to leave my job back in, like, February. I made this big announcement, like, I'm going full-time, baby! The, uh, and, uh, that was when, like, I was just, like... Before any of this, before I knew that this would happen, and uh, I could not have picked a better time to do it. Um, someone asked a question. Um, the I missed your name because you've scrolled up so high, but someone asked um, the uh, you. Someone asked Wayne, where did you get the idea for the arm coming off? And I talked a little bit about this during the moment. The uh, so the arm thing, it was a number of reasons. One, the I liked I I. I Gur and I were playing around in the Half-Life 1 maps with Unreal Sweps, and, and I was in VR, and we were spawning in these different Unreal Tournament Sweps. Um, the, uh, there's one in particular that is really cool that we still haven't used. Um, the, uh, but the minigun swept in particular, that's supposed to be an actual minigun that you hold, you know, like, like a minigun. The, uh, for some reason, the minigun one would just render, like, at your forearm and stick out. The original minigun is, like, this long and it was fucking awesome to just like have a minigun arm and just go like blah like and i was like man i just want i just want the minigun arm in the series because it's fun i just i just want to have this as one of my one weapon one of my one of my main weapons because it is so much more fun than playing around with any of the actual half-life 2 weapons um the uh so i was like okay in order to do that what if we cut off my arm and then i and then that that whole that whole idea line just started started spiraling into like Okay, so the, the the arm cut off, we could have like a betrayal arc, because Gur let me know. Gur told me about the the like Gordon getting knocked out. And when I heard about that, I had the idea like, oh yeah, we could do something really cool there because we have a perfect moment for an intermission where we could swap models. And then I started pursuing the possibility, can you have a model with an invisible appendage? Uh, because I thought that would look really good in VR and it ended up doing exactly that. We actually had an early prototype of the armless model where instead of cutting it off the actual, it was supposed to be more of like an arm loss. Like I wanted it cut off like here, where like I lost like half my arm. The original the original model had the arm cut off like right here, like right at the base of the elbow. And the way that Half-Life 1 models bend their arm, the elbow isn't actually an elbow. It just like collapses like a piece of paper. So like, yeah, we instead of it looking like I lost compromise. an arm, it looked, it looked like I lost my arm and instead of a stub, it was just like a flesh disc. It looked horrible. <laughs> the, uh, and that wasn't, that wasn't Stamos's fault. That was my directions being bad. So we cut it down here. Um, the, uh, and yeah, and that's, that's how I did that. Any other questions from, for you that I you guys have? Two quick ones. Yeah, I have a lot of donation ones. All right. Uh, number one, Holly, what is your favorite character from Super? Always bear hugger. Always been on bear hugger. I love that man. Yeah. So she cut uh, out, but she said super punch out for sure. Yeah, it was. I did say super punch out. It's bear hugger. Yes. Uh, I I lost the other one. Uh, but uh, oh, how did you make that noise before the necrosis has set in? Bit. So what you do <laughs> is you tense up the diaphragm, you tense up the back of your throat, and you sharply inhale while trying to make an uh sound. So it's like. <laughs> What, people don't know how to make that noise. Look <laughs> <laughs> what you, you did. Now. Look what you did. You made oh my god. Oh yeah, just go. I'm good. It was like <laughs> it's not that hard. I pushed through it, but like I was fine. Yeah, it wasn't like a horrible panic attack. Um, like I said, welcome to acting. Welcome to Stupid acting. Donates and asks. Don't know if my last question acting. got in. Uh, do y'all have a favorite joke, specifically a favorite joke that has been made in the greater internet, like one that like blew up or like or like or, like, or something that happened in reaction to the series? Like, for instance, the fact that the Sun Kiss Twitter is now every single one of their tweets. <laughs> there's just miles of replies that are just pictures of Sun Kiss the dog. The fucking so the funny I, I think that's mine personally because the wikipedia vandalism thing yeah. got out of control. The only thing that's funny yeah. about that was the fact that they locked it. But the Sun Kiss Twitter thing is so good. That's not the Twitter for the soda. That's the Twitter for Sunkiss, the company that makes oranges and citrus flavors, which they aren't tied to the soda, <laughs> but like none of their tweets are about the soda. And our Sunkiss is absolutely in reference to the soda. 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 How about you guys? Soda. Uh, I like that I've been seeing shut the fuck. Shut the fuck. Yeah. Shut the fuck. Um, I really like shut the fuck, which is great too, because a lot of the times that shut the fuck was said, it was just the source codec cutting you. Like you just, did just say shut the fuck up. Us off. Yeah. Shut the fuck. Someone, uh, someone asked about the inception of Sunkissed. We'll talk about that next stream. Yes, or we'll go deep into detail. The uh, that that is that is another just like light bulb idea. That shit was. Uh, 
It's I, fucking act, great. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it now, but yeah. Act for a commentary, gonna be long. Did you guys hear that Vinny quoted the series? Yeah, I mean, lots of people are seeing it. The uh, lots yeah. of notable people are seeing it. Some of which I look up to. Some of which I don't even know about really. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not. been it's been really awesome. Um, the uh, where hmm. can we see more of Scorpy's content from Yeagerific? What con um, what content? <laughs> I mean, they're having YouTube, I guess. Scorpio. I think that's what I mean. He's got oh, a Twitter, yeah, Twitter where you can. He's got a Twitter where you can hear all about PlayStation and Sony. Not and anymore. No, I don't we're not supposed to talk about oh, that. Yeah, we're not okay. We, we can't. Okay, I'm talk sorry. Incident. I'm sorry, but yeah, Scorpio's Twitter. Yeah. He's he, on Twitter. He's, <laughs> Bug, he's Bug Ladies pen. right. <laughs> Bug Ladies is right. Mega sixty four dot YouTube. You can go look at that. Yes, you can also find him at Mega sixty four. Uh, you can also find him on his YouTube yeah. channel, Rocco Bodhi. <laughs> Rocco B sixty four. Uh, Bootek, look up. <laughs> no, 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 don't tell him to look no. up Bootek. No. Don't look up Bootek. No. What I meant to say was Blue Tech, my new company. <laughs> oh. uh, I'm gonna like your very real good. Ass new Tech. Channel. It's New Tech. Um, it's YouTube group. New Tech group. When is Balt's wisdom coming back? Yeah, when is Balt's windows coming back? Sacktricks.com. <laughs> oh, I, think I, I forgot have. about that. Sacktricks. I think I have Balt wisdom. You don't. Oh, still have curious and never use it. Maybe you just no. haven't said any wisdoms lately. No, it's not there. Damn. Oh, Get it back. I don't. I don't have Balt wisdom set up right Get now. Back. Um, the, uh, people ask me what my animal is in reference to the last tulip stream. I said what it was on the stream. You're not getting a dirty doubler out of me. Oh, Guardsman, Guardsman Mooseman asks, why did you edit out my music during Dr. Coomer's rants? I mean, so there was media share music throughout 100% of the series. And minus Act 2, or Act 1, Part 2, most of it's edited out. Um, the uh, Like, a lot of the time, your music was not bad, but... The I had a greater vision for a song that could be put in there. Um, the uh, there there was when we were recouping at after um, when we were recouping after the clone scene, like we were talking. I did leave someone's song in there. I don't know what it was. It was in there for like a minute. What is the microphone that Wayne uses? Uh, it's an Audio Technica AT twenty fifty. I think I'm not oh, sure. Oh, is that what you need? is that what you got? I need to get a new one. Yeah, the uh, it's pretty. I got it as a gift. There you go. How much is Bone Wars letting USB you physically and do this? <laughs> well, we did use a I lot of good Bone Works songs, and I am happy about that. And uh, if the if any of the people that work on Bone see this, uh, I am sorry for putting your songs in my video. Uh, physically. Oh, physically. Did you try reading your own questions? Psychically? Huh? You mean like... Huh? What? Huh? 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 You mean like you mean like uh, in terms of building? A, I don't. I just. I guess I just don't understand the question. The uh, what's like, going what on? Do you mean, what do you mean physically? Like like how it built up my tolerance stamina. to like motion sickness and stamina. I don't know. I feel like I've always had that VR stamina. Like I had a lot of stamina. Pri it's Beat Saber, if anything. I was gonna say Beat Saber stamina. built that up a lot more than Boneworks ever did anything. For Boneworks. Boneworks is awesome. I'm oh, gonna do okay. another playthrough of Boneworks on stream pretty soon. <laughs> um, they they updated the physics and added a bunch of new co uh, content. And I want to go back and just play that game again. So you'll be seeing that. So if you missed my first don't, Boneworks playthrough, huh? don't raid anywhere. No, yeah. it's totally okay. No, no, no. I I disagree. It is totally okay for you to spam a brand's Twitter with images. Yeah, yeah, like, you they, know they what? Yeah, it's I a guess brand. a Twitter, a brand. There, there's no, it's totally there, there's different. no moral sin there. It's just, yeah. Yeah, you know what? Fair enough. Don't want to openly encourage it, but like, it doesn't matter. Fucking just, um, just try to be mindful of like the poor sap running it. I guess. Yeah. Question for everyone: If you could change one part of Act Three, what would it be and why? That's from Corv's Felines. Corvus Felines. Uh, for me, it would have been the not actually in the video because in editing, I have the power to change anything I want. Um, so the, uh, yes, uh, the, but in the moment I really would have liked the whole like betrayal thing to not fuck up and not be super messy. Um, the, uh, how about you guys? Is there anything you would have wanted to change? I up the map so I wasn't lost. I was yeah. acting. Yeah. Not, yeah. Me. Not, I in, not, not particularly in this part, but I, there was a lot of shit I would have fixed in the end. Yeah. I just wish, I just wish we took more time to rehearse. Because once it, we didn't, 
I don't want to say we didn't do this right because we did everything we could, but like we we had a rough time transitioning from oh we're going to turn on Gmod and be funny and do an improv stream to we have a bunch of things that need to happen during the stream at the right time. So right. like Act Four, we had some rehearsal, but we didn't have very much. Like we needed, like we definitely needed more in terms of like making sure everyone knew what they were supposed to do to Wayne checking to make sure that everything worked properly. Right. Just like it, it's just a lot of stuff that we just needed a little more time. We didn't have it. We, it was okay. It turned out fine. We, we did it good, but I also feel like we could have done it better in retrospect. Yes. But I mean, Definitely. that's always how you feel in retrospect. I also yeah. think I would have changed. One thing I would have changed is uh, a few key updates to VR mod. I wish happened earlier in the series <laughs> the, uh, and this isn't cat's fault cats you're fucking amazing like i owe all of this to you the, in a way the fixes um, happen because of you the, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah the uh so like in particular i would have changed i wish i had the ability to get out of water on my own i wish uh ladders worked a little bit better the uh and then the other thing is like i wish the loading screen worked and also there was an update the so a notable animator reached out to me. I'm not going to name names, but a notable animator reached out to me and like told me about this thing where like there's an issue with like some console variable in VR, in specifically in Gmod in VR that causes like when I would reach out with my arms, whenever I got past a certain point, like you notice this in the early in, in all acts except for act four, like once the camera would see my arm beyond this point, my arms would just like clip through the camera and in uh. That that actually got updated into VR mod right before Act Four, where that ch where that variable was changed, and my arms no longer clip through the camera. Oh, the um, yeah. However, some of the changes we'll, we'll talk about Act Four and like the reasons why I had to restart it so many times. Um, <laughs> the uh, I can't wait to see the behind the scenes footage of that of like us just like yeah. why the fuck is it not working? Why is it restarting? Oh um, God, I still have to edit that. Oh. For for me, like aside from the obvious shit, like oh, like I wish stuff like for the last episode was different, or I wish my internet didn't fucking cut out all the time. Uh, I I had a lot of like stumbles and fuck ups with my lines, and for the most part, they ended up being funny for it. The fucking bit about pendulums will haunt me to my goddamn grave. My power oh, limbs have dear. made the pendulum stick. I fucking so I'm sorry. get mad about it. I'm sorry. Um, uh, <laughs> sorry, it was so, really good. Someone asked. Someone asked. In Act Three, it was very apparent. Um, but when did you know that Benry would be the main antagonist? I knew from Act One, frankly. Like, what well, bullshit? I, <laughs> <laughs> I like. I, well, like, no, I had actually, those ideas. Right. Yeah. <laughs> See. Never mind. I take the, that back. Yeah, <laughs> like like I had those ideas. Like, I, okay, what I'll say is that I didn't predict, like I I didn't predict that we would have the ideas of like how the actual boss turned out. Like it wasn't like Act One. I envisioned Benry lying down in the fucking water of <laughs> Nyland's chamber, which ended up the that visual. No, we'll talk about that in Act Four. Like I want to talk about all that stuff so bad. Um, mm -hmm. The um, the yeah, I I knew very early on that that would be for the best. Like like like. <sighs> Go on about that forever. Um, someone asked, uh, Have you ever gotten in contact with Ross of Freeman's mind about this? No, I don't even know if you've no. seen him. No, none of us have had any contact with him. Yeah, not, I, not, not I've, I've literally never. So me getting in contact with him would be super <laughs> awkward. The, the question was specifically like, Have you reached out and like, I. No, I don't know what I would say. Hey, Ross hello, Scott, hello. I know you made a Half Life video like fucking ten years ago. We made a Half Life video recently. He's still doing. What about he's still it? Doing, he's, he's still doing, doing Half Life it, Two. Man. Yeah, is he the, still? Um, oh, okay. Yes. Half Life Two is ongoing. Um, the uh, I meant Half Life One. Dear Ross Scott, I am Wayne Radio TV. I have made Half Life series. Thank you. Perhaps Bye. you've heard of me. <laughs> I have made Half Life series. Just. <laughs> Dude, to make sure you've just, heard I'm of I'm my Half Life video. You know. I just gotta let him know. Is, there's what would we reach out to him about? Yeah, exactly. Just tell not... made it. Hey, I made it. Pixelate hey, Z asks, made... "Are you going to do hey, porn up with the AI is self-aware someday?" It would be nice. It would be nice to see Holly as shell. A couple things there. One, Ooh. the AI is already self-aware. In that's the I whole point of portal. Two, AI whenever is people are like, two. "Hey, you should do portal," the whole conceit of portal is the AI is self-aware. Two, there is no, there's no situation in which. I would have to be Shell, unless Gordon Freeman yeah. is in this situation, and Shell is also there. 
Like, that, that's the Whoa, thing. Oh, Shelf Portal. Hey, it's me, Gordon Freeman from Half Life. There's another reason why. So, there's there's many reasons why we can't do Portal with the AI software. One of the biggest ones is that the Portal gun. Well, Ky Kygo Nut says also Shell's mute. I play Gordon Freeman uh -huh. in this series. Gordon um, the, uh, but, uh, the, the, the portal gun in Gmod VR is like the most incredibly fucked up thing that it does not work. So like we wouldn't be able to do it unless we removed portals, which was the fucking point at that point. Um, hmm. Hmm. Also, Shell doesn't talk. So Shell neither doesn't does Gordon. Talk. Neither does Gordon. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. that's what I'm but saying. But it's different. <laughs> but like canonically in like oh, in that, portal, they're yeah. like, oh, Shell doesn't Shell speak. Shell literally she is mute in universe. Yeah. yeah. But is it so Gordon like, too? Like, he's not like, he, no, Gordon like, is he, he can to speak. He's just a quiet man. But like, they yeah. reference that in the dialogue in Half Life 2. Like, isn't Breen like, of course, you, you don't have anything to say to me, like in the final, yeah, in the final act. Alex, Alex says, uh, man, a few words, aren't you, when she meets him? Yeah. 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 No, no, no. Breen, Breen says, like, no, he doesn't. can you name one thing? Like, like he's trying to get him to name anything and he no, doesn't name anything. No, that's because there's the, the point is that he hasn't created anything it's he true has i mean it's fight. true but at the same time it's, i also take that i also take that as breen pointing out like gordon the fact that gordon, created hope that's the entire conceit of half-life 2 it's gordon, both a gordon it's is both the a thing gordon that is an infuriating protagonist to deal with as the villain yeah in, in that he just doesn't fucking talk back the uh which is why they were glad to make alex for for wayne after holly's surprise attack idpd captain asked this one were you actually being pushed back by the fan in the water while you swim or is that a bit no that's how that works <laughs> that fan is actually <laughs> like i was i was doing like the fucking like swimming motion that i can't really do right now with my confinement um the uh but uh the, the, that that fan actually does push you back. So I was I was struggling to get any closer to it. The um, I highly doubt that if I managed to touch the fan that I actually would have died. And uh, going all in on the bit of Gordon committing suicide and actually committing suicide would not have been a very prosperous choice for the series. Do you know that your crew revived the Half-Life fandom? That's very flattering, but there was just a Half-Life game that was released after yeah. the decade. Yeah. So I don't people, think people deserve always all say that, that credit. Psycho, Psycho, Babble, Psycho Babble asks, who is the voice in Lauren's video of the Russian sink that was almost the boss? So, no, that's a joke. Look at that. It was a joke. Moidoider is was not going to be the final boss of Half-Life VR AI. Uh, no, he definitely me. was. And that was what me. Part Wash in my your hands. Always sanitize daily. That was me. Wow. Dry off in my Want to have fun in the Zen world? <laughs> Want to have fun Want to have some fun world? time in the portal? <laughs> that is that would have made a good villain though. Just the imagine, imagine the Benry, really the evil. Benry final boss fight in the Nihilith chamber, but the sink is giant. You can't defeat uh, me. We'll, I'm a sink. We'll just you can't that. defeat me. I'm a saint. We'll just record that for fun. For fun. <laughs> what is this for referencing? Sure. Oh fuck! People don't even know. Alternate uh, thing. <laughs> I can I can pull it up maybe. Try to try to find. Yeah, it I think I can actually play that if I can find that if I can find the file. Oh yeah, it's it's labeled as bath.mp4. Hold on, I'll show you. <laughs> oh, no, don't play Bath that up before. Yeah, that's really oh, No, no, please! Oh, Secret no, no, Scorpion no, no, no. footage! Oh. Turn the balls cam on. <laughs> Hold on, you can't hear anything yet. I like to hear anything. I want to hear ba uh, Bath.mp4. All right. Here, here it is. Hold on. <clears throat> Let me put this underneath the web. This is the clip. Who wants a Who wants a Who wants a Bath? Wants a bath? Who wants a bath? Wanna have a wanna have, wanna have fun, fun time, time in the water? water? <laughs> Q and A with, Q &A science with the science team. <laughs> <laughs> wanna have hands always sanitized daily. daily. Awesome. awesome. Dry, Dry off, off in the mouth. Me in VR for once. Uh, I hate its freaking pussy lips that it has. Yeah. Yeah. Put <laughs> the pussy. Oh, oh, I was just oh, indulging in fact. No, yeah. That. So this is Gert playing around in VR and me as the sink. I was indulging in the ability to play a character that's ridiculous since I don't get that opportunity in Half Life. I, we were also playing. I'm using a face tracking module in Gary's Mod right here, which at some point we'll do a Gary's Mod stream where I play around with it because I've been wanting to do that. <laughs> Something about him looking to the left like an Animal Crossing character while he does all this is really unnerving. <laughs> the the way his mouth vibrates as he's just like panting and going, No! 
Yeah, it was specifically <laughs> like I was it's like bad. looking up and I was looking up and down so that like the sink the sink like curves and like contorts its body. <laughs> no, <laughs> the fucking yeah, it's good. That good. that that really model. I, that I never looks at you. There was a there was a time where Mira and I were big into like dark RP, and we tried to like <sighs> clean up a server and like ban all the racists. So we became mods, and we. I that was the model I used when I was a mod. So people would RDM and a sink would take them away to a roof and start talking to them. <laughs> uh, Smug Ladies donates and asks, "What would happen if Gordon was blue? I would barf. I would puke on the spot. That's if he was green, question. he would die. He would he Fire would yell. Alert. He would yell like the kid in the video." So I love this question. Shark Waves ask, who else in your group do you think would be good in the antagonist role? I think literally all of us, including myself, would play a great antagonist. <laughs> the everyone yeah. could do a different thing. Balp yeah. is a fucking Balp is a villain in Balp real life. Hey, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying that to be mean to you. You yeah. know why I'm saying that. You're the one who said in a past life you would make a fantastic Spanish Inquisitor. <laughs> like, <laughs> you fucking man! If Belf had been alive during the Inquisition, you all watch Gur, it. Gur would make an amazing villain for reasons that I can't say. The uh, hmm. that's wait what? Wait what? No, what was I gonna say? I can talk about that. What is? I don't know. I'm fucking dumb. Um, the uh, <laughs> Holly would make. Ho look at the Coomer boss fight. Holly would make an amazing fucking villain. She she reveled in that <laughs> position. Uh. Mike was G-Man, also an antagonistic character. I, I think I could be a villain. Yeah, I think you I haven't think, seen you haven't seen the full extent of my powers. The G-Man voice I is think, just one of the many things I can like, do. I think it's like we've known each other for so long that like we really gel with each other, and also like yeah, all of us could probably pull off like a very different but very good villain. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Beef says so. Basically, you're saying the cast would fit into Tekken. Yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> There's a question in the chat that I don't have an answer for, but I am screen capping, so thank you. The uh... <laughs> I know yeah, exactly I which one. I you're saw about that too. one. You I saw wonder it. which one it was. You to, you'll have to show me later because I completely Looney, missed it. Looney Moon Two K uh, asks: When Gordon says he's going to strangle that bald fuck, who's the bald fuck? Benry or Bubby? <laughs> well, only one of them is bald. Actually, we don't know. What what yeah, we don't know. Situation he's, wearing, like, he's wearing that yeah, stupid hair. fucking helmet the whole game. I want um, a model of Benry without his helmet, please. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that exists. Please get crazy with it. That exists. I want a model of Benry without his pants on. I was talking about I was talking about Bubby. The uh, I was talking about Bobby because so there there's a scene in Act Two that got cut from the video where we where where Bubby tells us to meet his friend. The uh and it's a soldier, and it's a soldier standing on a turret shooting missiles at us whenever we walk around the corner. So, like, I, in that moment, I, I put two and two together, made the connection, like, oh, so Bubby was, like, Bubby was the one who really fronted the problem. Uh, the, uh, so, yeah, I was talking about strangling Bubby. I, oh, semi on topic, but I was very proud of the line with my own one hand, and then that gave Holly the best, the best <laughs> bit to chip in with. Uh, <laughs> I will help you. Bros attack. Uh, Bros. Squiddly, Squiddly said, Wayne, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Mario I just Luigi, imagined. Mario just Luigi imagined choking out one person with their someone. left and right arms. <laughs> Wayne, uh, oh, Squiddly SO that. asks, Wayne, you said, I warned you about the robes dog in Act 1. That was a reference to Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff. I like Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff. I know fucking nothing about Homestuck and I never will. I don't yeah, particularly like it. I'm, I, I'm in the same people like Homestuck. I mean. A lot of my viewers like Homestuck. I'm not going to shit on it because I'm not I mean, really like not Sweet Bro guy. and Hella Jeff. I can't stand Homestuck. Gur can be mean, I guess. Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff has more staying power than Homestuck. I have no problem being mean. If you like Homestuck, cool. I fucking can't stand it. This is such a fucking sad stuck moment. Holy. <laughs> Donated $45 and asked a question that I won't answer, but thank you. Nice. <laughs> you even admitted you even admitted in the donation that the question was cursed, so that's why I'm acknowledging you here. <laughs> what is ev what so one question asked, what is every character's favorite food and what is every character's favorite restaurant slash fast food chain? Um oh, so God. I think I, I think that uh, likes Taco lots Bell. of But here's the thing. Lots of characters in the finale literally said pizza's my favorite food. The um oh, so yeah? just a just a uh, heads up there. 
about that. I believe um, that he loves a good pepperoni. No, I love a good pepperoni. I love a good pepperoni. I love a good pepperoni. Um, pepperoni. Some of your lines there. Tommy outright says, my favorite food. The uh, like when he's eating the pizza. I didn't subtitle that part, and it's a fucking mess, so you can't hear a lot of it. But like the things you guys are saying, like like Holly's going, like oh, I wish I could eat pizza like this every day, and it's like <laughs> it's just, I forgot about that. The fucking oh man, I was um, just slurping that whole. Gordon's time. Gordon's favorite food and fast food restaurant is Popeye's chicken. Nice. Um, I'm gonna say Arby's because I did a bit where I ordered. Arby's and G-Man's voice, so I've canonically made that G-Man's favorite restaurant. There you go. <laughs> Shikaku Setsume. Shikaku Setsume says they thought they were that you were saying I never get pepperoni. <laughs> right. Which right. is a very funny I, thing to say. I, I was asked, did I reference Homestar Runner uh, when I said you're gonna have to jump in Act Four? One, that's Act Four. That's for next time. Yes. Two, uh, probably Andrew subconsciously. Ask. Probably I knew something. that's what you were doing. I'm like, gonna like in the moment. Jump. We're going to have to jump. jump. Okay, yeah. So oh. a couple of people, a couple of people asked questions. What were the original plans for the ending in Act Three? Because you said something that it might end there. We so we were just wrong. So, <laughs> we were yeah, just we wrong. Were, so Ger, Ger was just like when, like before Act Three, Ger was like, "Oh yeah, there's not that much left. Well, the stream might be a little long, but we'll we'll definitely finish it." The uh, and we no. were just fucking wrong. I said that about four. <laughs> Well, no, four, we knew we were going to finish it. Like, we had to finish it in Act 4, or we were fucked. Um, the, uh, but like... Yeah, Log Logmore points out, we thought that his part would maybe be in Part 3, so we were, like, yeah. genuinely yeah, not was, sure which, if we'd was, get to Log. It was right. what was going to be in which parts we missed. Yeah, yeah basically. Interpreted. We get a final call on the Benry versus Benry spelling. B-E-N-R-Y is how the character spells it and how it is spelled in-universe. Uh, uh, the way a human would write <laughs> it is I with always, an E. I I always put an E. I always say with that that's how a human writes it. The uh I don't write it with an E. Depends on how you feel. This is the one this is the one bullshit question I'm I'm reading. Bun Cheeks says, Question for Wayne! Who do you think's gonna win Progressive Soup of the Year? <laughs> oh, that's such an important lentil, uh, lentil. Lentil. Lentil, baby. <laughs> I lentil hate, soup and I hate lentil soup. Uh, CWF What's Moose wrong says, with you? I don't like lentil soup. I, I was forced to a lot when I was a child. Um, the uh, CWF Moo says, were there any points when you accidentally activated your Gmod bikes when you didn't mean to? I can't recall any, but I wonder if you just played off so well. The only person who ever did that was Scorpy. And no, they never played it off. It was just him holding down his mic key when he was laughing really hard about something, like when he gets punched out. The uh, <laughs> And there's something in Act 4 that happens. The, uh, when, when Holly yeah, says, uh, Gordon, I believe most people have 10 of those. The, uh, talking yeah, about and then there was like, it just in the one we just watched where, uh, where Scorpy where literally Holly, sneezed Holly, on Mike. Oh, yeah. Holly, Holly was, Holly said, that I want to kiss you after the test. And I was laughing at the end of my <laughs> sentence where I was like, we, we already had the test. We already did it. Um... I have a couple questions that I can rattle yeah, off ahead. if you need go some ahead. time. Okay. Go right ahead. Uh, question for Holly. When you originally said the big one, did you intend to foreshadow Coomer's final gun, or was that just a throwaway gag that got referenced in Act 4? It was a throwaway gag. I was originally referencing the huge fucking, like, bombs and missiles that are Oops. in that depot in that part. Yeah. And then, like, we completely skipped that bit, so I didn't get to elaborate on it in Act 4. So instead, I was just like, okay, well, I'm getting this big fucking LMG. I could just make that be, like, a brick joke for that. Large yeah. machine. It was perfect. Uh, we, we, yeah, we had it, the it idea, ended up working out. In the scene, we're going to talk all about Sunkiss Sophie in Act 4's Q&A. Um, the, uh, so, um... The, not uh... A PNG, not a JPEG, thank the you. Whole, <laughs> the whole big one, like, with the... the no, we'll talk about that in Act 4, too, because that is an Act 4 thing. Um, the, uh... I like this one. Red Planet of Mars asks, in the, TV, in the TV Tropes page of HLVRAI, which I think is very funny that we have one, it's fucking huge. Like, the, yeah. uh, the page believes that the skeleton was controlling Benry the whole time, which is why he asked those questions huh? as soon as the skeleton fell asleep. I've seen those theories. The There are so many different interpretations of the connections between the skeletons and Benry. 
the and like I can't confirm or deny any of them. Like I have I have my own personal thoughts, but they might not even be like what other people agree with. Like it is better to leave these things vague and let you guys come to your own conclusions. Like this the worst is for you to decide. The worst, like like I have some that I in my editing was like, okay, this is definitely how it was in the story, but I'm not gonna say because I want you guys to figure it out. It's like a puzzle. Um, it's, the uh, it's anything the until fucking, it suits our needs later on. Yeah, I mean, and that's and that's literally how you write a game well too because that's, then, that's because then how, you have so many writing. things to work with in the sequel that's literally how they wrote half-life one going into half-life two there's so many things that they just like decided later the um uh yeah so like some of your theories maybe they'll come true later on down the line who knows uh -huh. Uh -huh. i i got, I got uh -huh. some more questions you know? i can prattle off okay. all right prattle away uh Holly, yes, yes, how yes. far along was your internal idea of Coomer by the clone fight? I had pretty much all of this figured out, like all the details of what I wanted to do with Coomer by the end of Act 2. And I just sort of ran with it and like tweaked it as I went. Mm -hmm. But like the, the general idea was like I got to the end of Act 2 and I was like, oh shit, I know where to take this now. I think we had it. Act three was when we had like eighty percent of everything figured yeah. out at that point. There were mm -hmm. a few key little things here, uh, little little bits and bobbles, little throughout that like were were not solidified. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, and that also have... answers Typhidai's question. Mm -hmm. I have two other quick ones I can do. Sure. Uh, number one, question for Holly. I don't know if this is already answered, but how did you get down the exact effect for Coomer's voice throughout the series, especially those moments where you perfectly cut yourself off? I've just been doing this for years as a joke. <laughs> I feel like we've answered that every Q&A because there's always someone yeah. who marvels at that. It's there's so, so many people, so there's so many people still... I got a comment that was like that sounded like smug. That was like, <laughs> these guys really know how to use voice changers. Like, fucking no. I don't no. have a voice changer. What and kind I'm of not voice smart changer? enough to set up a soundboard. There's not so a voice changer that would allow that. you to do what you did. Like, a voice changer doesn't just make your voice sound like a different character. Like, it just pitches you up or adds an effect. Like, it does. Like, it does something like this. It does something like this. <laughs> like, oh, the, no. like the, that, it, it'll. Can do it'll that. Like that's what that's a voice changer. Like you who don't you, you don't just create like this is a voice changer. You don't just create scientist voices with this. Hey, shit. who's this oh guy God, who's like we interrupting and possessing Wayne? I'm really scared. I don't know. Um, um but yeah, oh yeah, it was like a, a combination of doing theater for years, uh, doing shitty Half Life scientist impersonations for years, and cutting myself off on purpose for years because I think YouTube poops are funny. Yeah, it was the yeah. perfect storm. I will. I want to add to that and these? say something that I used to do on my way you home, know? like on my drive home from work, Eat it. was I would just talk to myself in a funny voice. Mm, so I, I, I would just practice mm, on my way home. I did that There were times where I was driving home and I would do something to myself that was so funny that I would almost start crying while I was driving. <laughs> I do that a lot too. Uh, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> driving is the best time to practice voice work. It's great. There's no one to judge you. And you can hear yourself really well because it you resonates well, well in your car. Yeah. You. Uh, the last, I the like last to quit. scream like I'm getting murdered okay. when I'm driving. <laughs> I've done that. Yeah, uh, you I do that when you're on Discord with us. You yeah. know who else does? Mira. It's kind of a mean joke, but like sometimes I'm in the Discord when I'm driving and I like to like, I've just, I've just gone like, hold on. What time is it? It's a little past. Yeah, it's, it's early enough that I can do this. Ah! And then just like slap the fucking oh. mic. The, um, <laughs> And like try to make them think I got in a car crash because they know I never. <laughs> now God. and then and then that creates that's then that creates boy cried wolf situations for the times that I have gotten in car crashes while in the Discord. Yeah, call. But you don't scream. You hadn't screamed in those situations. You went. So, oh shit. Yeah. No. The I last <laughs> this last winter I uh this last winter during like the one time that it snowed I was on my way back from work and um a uh and, and the roads are really really icy and i'm driving down my commute and i'm on like this road that is like like a regular road turning into a highway um the uh and like a fucking light post like like a giant highway light post fell down and completely bisected the road and i'm driving and because of the ice i can't stop the um uh i like i'm just like in the discord call and i'm like what the hell is that guys there's a fucking light there's, there's this fucking light pole in the middle of the road and everyone's like what and then 
And at that point, like in an actual car accident, I wouldn't scream. I would tense up, get scared. So basically all they heard was just me going like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Like, and like, and then just like, boom, good on, good on. Because I just drove, I couldn't stop the car because of the ice. I just drove straight <laughs> over the pole. God. The um, And luckily my car was fine. It just, it, it gave me like a leaky tire and it knocked my bumper out of place. The car in front of me, Christ. it blew up their tires. It exploded them. Oh, so shit. I don't know how yes. the fuck I got through that. Um, wow. Sorry to anyone that I scared with that scream. That's cool. You motherfucker, I'm gonna get you. Someone, uh, someone named Sparkbug asked, uh, how did you, like, they asked, like, how I came up with or how, like, practiced the rambling, uh, for Tommy, uh, that was all me. I'm just, it's just I just Balp. ramble a lot. <laughs> all I do Balp is famous. Balp is famous for rambling on about certain topics and not, and <laughs> not being able to stop him. Balp is the equivalent <laughs> of a 16 wheeler in a conversation if he, you cannot stop him <laughs> you you literally balpas told us oh guys if i'm rambling and you need me to shut up please just please just start saying fuck you fuck you shut up over and over it doesn't again. work <laughs> it doesn't work and then it doesn't work he says to do that and then he doesn't stop and then he's just like oh. why are you mad at me we're like we're like <laughs> <laughs> Belk, we love Belk. Belk, Belk, say it. We love Belk. Belk is like if a steam train came to life with the intelligence of him <laughs> he says he says that it's because he's from Boston and that he wouldn't do it in person <laughs> and then he does it in person thing I too. Can think of you know you gotta <laughs> your way into the conversation. You gotta blame something. I've 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 still got two more quick questions. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, for Holly, can we get a let's play of Coomer playing Super Punch Out? No, because that would murder my throat. But maybe I'll play Super Punch Out someday on stream. Uh, other question was for me and Mike, and it was, can we see any of your theater stuff? I can answer that for myself. No, because A, a lot of it wasn't recorded, B, a lot of it was like amateurish fringe theater stuff, and C, if any of it was recorded, I would be credited under my dead name, and that's not happening. Uh, for uh, me, justified. for me, you'll never find out. Somebody, yeah, Maggot, Medic, Maggot Medic asked what my inspirations were for my dialogue as Bubby. It's like a hyper over inflated, like, magnified version of what I'm kind of like sometimes where I'm yeah ridiculously vulgar oh, for I should no turn reason. This off. This will probably get copyright caught, complete sadly. smart ass for no good reason. Um uh, a complete fucking coward in the face of anything dangerous. <laughs> I okay. Uh I got a bunch of good questions here. So nice. I got one that I have a okay. sad answer for. Well, I mean, I guess it's sad in, in some ways. Uh, our saying ecaps asks, do you have any tips for someone who wants to be a content creator, in particular one who is heavily involved with voiceover and possibly streaming? The only reason that I was able to become a streamer is because I have spent far too much of my life on the internet, including Tumblr.com, that I was able to build up enough of a follower base that one Ooh. stupid clip of me screaming at a baby just blew up and then people were like, yo, maybe you too. <laughs> like, wow, when I started Twitch me. streaming, when I started Twitch streaming with no foundation other than people liking that clip, I was starting day one with streams that had anywhere from 30 to 50 viewers. And yeah, if you just start Twitch streaming, you don't get that. You need to, you need to scrape yeah. and claw and it is so fucking hard. Hard. I am extremely lucky like that yeah. luck luck is like luck is an entire it, it, like I could have never predicted that it would have got to this moment so like it, like the, the reason that it's a sad answer is that it's like hard work is the only thing I can say I because I don't really have an answer I, I can't replicate it's the literally. steps that it took me yeah, from, just luck. from someone who's on the outside yes that was you, that was me, situation, you. <laughs> I can say there's two things you could do a learn how to present yourself because so many people do not do that well on the internet yes that's a mm -hmm. big boost we watch and a lot of one view twitch streams one of our favorite pastimes is looking is looking <laughs> at the lowest view twitch streams because you find some really weird and funny shit um the yeah. uh, and so many well, of those people who it seems like they're they're trying to build a twitch career like their stream is just a mess like it's and then sometimes it's a mess just because they're children like one time we we found a child who was streaming it, it was like an eight-year-old streaming Hitman 2, where he was performing mass shootings in Hitman 2, and on the wall, he had a fucking poster that he made that can only mean one thing, and that his name, his legal name, was Denim. <laughs> <laughs> what? I didn't yeah. know about that. Yeah, he had, we have a picture that. of it somewhere. He like, you know, like sometimes when you were a kid, you'd like make a poster in art class where you'd like write your name and put a bunch of things around it. He had that with just the word denim. And the only conclusion <laughs> that I can come to is that that's his name. What else yeah. could it be? Yeah. Why else would he have made this arts and craft of the word denim? I, it's just his favorite wanna, name. Is he just into, is he just into wanna, pants? I want to make the addition that you, 
I, I see this question asked to a lot of fucking people on Twitch, and the answer nine times out of ten is, oh, pure fucking luck. Because yeah. it is pure yeah. fucking luck. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, so here, I, real, I will, I will, I will amend my final answer. Luck, like, here's the thing. Luck, luck is 90% of it. The rest is having charisma. It's, no, no. Well, yes. Yeah. But, okay, so here's All what right. it is. Luck. Thank you. I'm the one who managed this shit. The fucking <laughs> listen, luck. I'm the one. Charisma and personality is are very important, but another thing is persistence. Okay. Just don't fucking give up. There are so many times where I've been yeah. bummed out about my streaming career and yeah, shit. I, I was gonna say that there, like, one. What was it? Like three or six months into streaming, you're like, I don't think I'm gonna do this after like next year. Yeah, and there then were times like where I was like, in views from something. There were there were times where I was like, oh man, I really don't know if this is going anywhere. I don't. I, I feel like I liked it better when I was just doing private recordings to uh, you and making YouTube videos. But do not give up. You, like I said, you need to know how to promote yourself. You need to like. You need to. You need to find a good balance between blatantly promoting yourself and like just getting your clips in the right places. Like if you're yeah. constantly posting your own thing, in my opinion, that's not bad. But like. People like dummies on the internet just to get this like weird notion like oh this person's self promoting too much they just want like they just want money like they just want attention like when they when, and they don't actually like appreciate what it is that you're doing that like, shit stuff like, I know from, like from promoting myself for like five six years a bad a bad like a really bad thing to do ninety percent of the time is promote yourself on Reddit for whatever reason Reddit fucking hates you if you promote yourself. Unless uh -huh. you use Reddit. The thing is, is that I'm not a Redditor, but Reddit, Reddit, when it works, is actually a great way to boost yourself. Like most of my most most of my um, what was I going to say? <laughs> Eric has my... the picture of Denim's room. Sorry to interrupt. You have it? <laughs> oh, shit. Eric posted it. Yes. Oh, I will. Yeah, I put that up on the screen. Okay. I will say to go along with the uh, perseverance thing. I've been making YouTube videos since 2006. I'm only just now getting a decent amount of eyeballs on me. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Look, keep at it. Come to I, a conclusion. Gonna... There, there is no conclusion you can come to about this picture. <laughs> His name has to be Denim. Why else would he put that there? Why else would he make that? Denim. His name is uh, fucking uh, Denim. The first filed fabric uh, uh, factory owner. I gotta say, I gotta say, <laughs> finding that stream, YouTube that stream fighters. was very funny for that reason. It also like was a little bit fucked up. Like, because this kid was playing Hitman 2, and I was saying, like, the mass shooting thing, he was literally in the tutorial level of Hitman 2, just killing people, and it was, it was like, he definitely was just a dumb kid, like, fucking around, like, he's not, it's not actually, like, a dangerous thing that was happening, but it was just, like, really weird as an adult watching this kid, and, like, going, like, get down on the fucking ground, I'm gonna kill you! Like, I was just, like, it was, like, so <laughs> fucking surreal. The, um, and uh, he was killing all the non-targets. Dan uh, loves violence. I, I had a second point, which was, yes, Dude, you still get there's a lot of luck. But when that luck hits, you gotta A, know how to present yourself, and B, uh, find people who are on the same wavelength to work yes. with. We got mm -hmm. sidetracked by talking about that. That's another thing. That's another thing that is also like, it, I, it, it is, I am so lucky to have my friends. Like, like the, I, I can stream well solo, but like the, I, I, I keep myself in much better spirits when I can stream with my friends because I can I can immediately know if a joke hit and I can also you can also bounce back and forth off of them. Yeah. The, mm -hmm. But like we do so well as we do together. And the reason we have so much chemistry is because I have known a majority of my friends here. My friends are my power. Yes, that literally Valve just Valve says I'm a fucking shonen. My friends are my power. The, the my fucking, friends like, are my power. Lane is the most shonen Twitch streamer ever. <laughs> He's not antagonist. <laughs> like, we, <laughs> The fucking, I think the most important thing is I do have antagonists. The Look, but what I was gonna say is that I have known these people. I've known a large chunk of these people for twelve years. Like, it, I, it, maybe not the best of friends with them for that entire twelve years, but like, I would not be anywhere without them. So I thank you. You, you would have never screamed at that baby if we didn't tell you to. Val you told that. me to sing break stuff. It was it was his idea there. The, uh, <laughs> the most important thing is look. If you had one okay. shot. I love for one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted. Shut in your one moment, up right now. Would you capture it or just let it slip? I'd you son of a bitch, I'm going to get you. I'd let it slip. Ooh, persistence. Slip. Luck, persistence, oh, charisma. Slip. Yeah. Yeah. Why does everyone say I sound like It's Goku? a lot of luck. I don't understand. But, People say I sound like Goku. Luck. People say I sound like fucking Rick from Rick and Morty. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. It's a lot of I luck. I turned myself into a pickle. I'm pickle Rick. Empty the ring. 
<laughs> and myself I into a pickle. Show picture of Tumnus. <laughs> show picture of Tumnus. What was going to do it now? What? I don't have a picture of Tumnus. 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 Leave me alone. Show Leave me alone. Tumnus now. You offer better advice than the Twitch Bros. I I guess so. We're giving you real advice. You're being real about yeah, because don't those people are real. Fuck those people. Because the Twitch Bros, it was luck for them too. Like yeah, they, just it was about an error in a minute. One minute. If you if you listen, if you are if you have a small following on the internet and something happens that allowed you to get the internet to see what you create, like that is a large stroke of luck. Like some mm -hmm. people put so much fucking work into what they do and nobody sees it. Like we mm -hmm. we we follow we follow so many like weird little obscure YouTubers that just put like what must be months of work into their videos and nobody and nobody watches them and like oh because God. the sometimes sometimes it's just because of bad luck sometimes it's because they don't play the youtube algorithm game oh yeah that's yeah. the other thing that's the other thing i love a good creative title and it makes me sad that youtube algorithm works the way it does but if you're doing youtube play the algorithm you guys want to know my youtube secret to how to get picked up by the algorithm the first step is have a base that exists already, which you can't just do that. But the have a base, like have a have a have a smallish base of people that are gonna watch your video. Like let's say I had when the first Half Life video came out, I had like thirty five thousand subs. Let's say that the video got like twenty k views from those subs. Get your video viewed by your sub base. Then get your video viewed somewhere else. Like the the two videos that I've had explode, which were Yu Gi Oh and Half Life, both followed this trend. It had a title that YouTube would like, like the future of Yu-Gi-Oh VR, the dueling is here or whatever the fuck it was called. The um, Half-Life VR, and I did the fucking blank but blank title scheme. Um, the uh, ha have a title YouTube likes, get your video viewed by your base, and then get your video viewed by like an external source. I think that is what makes it get picked up. Like the fact that it's like, oh, not only are not only do his subs like this video, but people are, are, are clicking this from another source. And in this case, it was Reddit. I got... The, the Valve Index subreddit really liked my first video, and that was very important. Yeah, Rap Boy Genius, like that guy, that dude is puts in so much work. All right, let's let's do a few more questions. Rap Boy Genius wrap up. It is, is a fucking late. hero, honestly, an inspiration. He's, he's great. Yo DJ, <laughs> yo DJ, do a few more yo, chat DJ. questions. <laughs> Have any of you seen that someone put Dr. Krimer into pro skaters? A, a no fin clue donated for it. Um, the uh, yes. I actually wanted to like do a stream of that, but then it like blew up and everybody saw it. So it wouldn't have been a surprise anymore. So I didn't yeah. do it. We could still do it anyway. Spade says, what was the most yeah, I do I do want to just play Thug Pro on stream and we could totally just do yeah. the scientists. The uh, what does was the most single multiplayer? Yeah, it does. It's yeah. awesome. The uh, what was the most before. single stressful moment during this act? I already said this. It was when the fucking betray it was the betrayal moment and the betrayal moment not working and then giving me a panic attack going forward. Um <laughs> I like this. This is simple. Hats <clears throat> asks, question for Gur, can you insult me in your Dr. Bubby voice? Uh, do anything. Why you the hell would I do that, you dumb bitch? There you go. <laughs> Gone. You make me sick, you dumb bastard. Artsy Squid says, how did you all set it up where you guys could talk and hear each other without it being heard in game audio? That was just Discord. The, uh, like, I didn't need to talk in game because they just heard me through Discord. I deafened in Discord so that I couldn't hear them, but they could hear me. You need to server deafen to do that. You can't just click deafen. Um, mm -hmm. The uh, and then that allowed everyone to hear me without me having to press a microphone button. Um, I think I've covered most of the questions that were that I really wanted to read. There's a couple I missed. I, I've glazed over if I didn't read your question. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for donating. I'm still going to read your names. Uh, any any questions from you guys that you got? Um, uh, I, I ran out. Of See. Oh yeah. I saw. Oh yeah. Venomized Darken, who told me that they were the person who named their puppy Ben Benry, they asked, "Do you do you guys have any pointers for setting up VR? What headset do you prefer? And what is your favorite thing about playing games in VR?" Um, the uh, I recommend the Valve Index if you can afford it. If you can't afford the Valve Index, <clears throat> maybe an Oculus Quest. I haven't tried it though, so I don't really have experience with it. But also, a Vive is great. Like a, a Vive, uh... this, like if you can get a Vive for cheap, it's such a good experience. I was so happy to have a Vive for that long. Um, it's definitely the, uh, not the worst, but you, it's showing its age already. Oh the yeah, I, mean, I, I, I would not. I would never <laughs> dare. I, I still have not put my vibe on. I, I put on my index and never look back. The um, it would it be like a, looking. You would be like if you put on glasses that were covered in grease. The way that yeah. I remember it, it's not <laughs> about bad. the grease. The way that I remember it, it's like with the screen door effect. It's like looking through like a weird kaleidoscope. Like yeah. The, um, uh, but yeah, I recommend that. Gur and I like in this group are the only ones that have direct access to a VR headset. We're the only ones. Oh, did you even try the VR headset at Trog's house? 
uh, I wanted to, but like we didn't like, have a time. <laughs> um, the uh, Scorpy had one for a little while. I love VR. Um, do I have any pointers for setting up VR? Or did, um, put up the sensors. I don't know. Put up the sensors and <laughs> have put a the big headset room. On. Put up the like, sensors, and I guess I guess what I could say for that is like setting up VR is not as bad as people say. Like it's, it, really it, it's so I easy. It I don't like like the one hard thing is just if you don't have the right room for it. Like for me, my bedroom is tailored to it in that like my bedroom is just I have a desk over here, my bed's over there. It's a folding bed so I can make extra space, and then all that is empty space so that I can have VR space. Like. The, if you have cramped rooms, it sucks like to move yeah, it everything. Does. I have that's cramped, that's I have the one thing right. that sucks. Give me <laughs> hair tips, head, <laughs> head and shoulders, baby. That's it. Actually, I haven't even I haven't even been using head and shoulders the past couple of days. I've been using like, this oh, weird listen, avo oh, Wayne, avocado shampoo for head and shoululders. <laughs> Everyone, uh, I, you can use it or eat it. It works both ways. Eating it oh, is key. Wait. Eating is key as to as to how it it feeds into my hair from the root. Oh, Hang on, I, don't, don't drink head and shoulders. I saw don't one good, I saw one good question for everyone. Uh, Tac Tacitrasa, if there is one underrated slash underwatched video in your entire library, you would really love to uh, for people to see, which video would it be? So Holy shit, that's a... Wait, that's wait, a good wait, question. Your entire because, videos of videos you've made? Is that what they're asking? Yeah, I think oh, that's what yes. they're asking. I if they're asking... Right yeah, the fuck if they're now, asking have, that... Where's it, Hang on, here's my favorite video that... Here's my favorite video that no one cares about. Hang on. Oh yeah. Oh, the one where the kid from Home Alone dies. That's on my old channel. That's my old life. I do still love that video though. Here's mine. Um, there you go. Is this oh, the? Oh, you don't have to watch this on stream. I'm just telling yeah, no, people. I'm just to clicking watch on it to see what it was. Yeah. What is it's it? it's can... completely stupid. It's like the stupidest possible thing that I don't think anyone will find funny except me. A video that <laughs> like I made. A video no, that this I is made, good. <laughs> a video that I made that I thought was very funny and like didn't get too much attention. Um, how to not get scared in Alien Isolation VR got that one was like, good. I like that one. That that this this video got like twenty thousand views or maybe it was like eighteen thousand views when it first came out. Which back like when I was first starting was actually pretty good for a non Fallout video. When I first started, the only videos of mine that would get views were the Fallout videos. And even then, like other than the first one, my peak for Fallout video views was uh, the first one I made at like seventy four k. Uh, oh wait, no, Fallout Four VR, the world's saddest man, got seventy eight k. The uh, but oh, I, are, are I we still... talking about like our own videos? Yeah, that your own videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I still okay. think I still think that the the Alien Isolation video. Is very funny, and I and I'd like more people to see it. Um, the uh, but that but that video actually did pretty well for the time. A video that like fucking did horrible back when I first released it was my Friday the Thirteenth video, which was basically just us highlighting a really funny kid that we encountered that was just talking about Minecraft. That video is pretty damn good still. It's messy. All my old videos were pretty like not edited super great. Um, the and then finally the last one that I would say is the video where I announced that I would be a Twitch streamer. This one right here. I think this is Scorpy's favorite video of mine still. Yeah, that's, that's one favorite. of my favorites too. Yes. All right. As for me... Oh my I, god, I have, like, this on, one. I fucking on forgot about this everything. video. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and you can show this if you want. I don't care. Yes, one whatever. Uh, is a, a fucking 14 second Yu-Gi-Oh joke. It fucking nobody will watch. And it kills me because it's fucking funny to me. Uh, I have, Marvel, I Marvel have only ever video? uploaded. Is, oh, oh, bounce talking. Oh. Okay. No, you can go. Okay. I have only ever uploaded one video to YouTube. <laughs> it was uploaded in 2014. It is uploaded to an account that has no attachment to any of my current online presences. It has 27 views. No one has ever found it. I don't think anyone ever will find it. <laughs> I will not link it. If you find it by some goddamn miracle, you win nothing, but I'll be impressed. Blue Bam says <laughs> ban Gur for spamming. Yes. I whatever. Will. Gur, whatever, that's a good video. I like my most underrated video is whatever I just uploaded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that, that puts a lot of effort. Better with each new video, go watch that one. So That's one true. of my virtues when beginning to be a content creator was that I never ever want to stray too far away from my own style, my own humor, and my own way of doing things. Because like I feel like once you start playing the YouTube game way too hard, you're not the same creator anymore, and your shit just starts to kind of suck. You have to play the game a little bit, but 
Balp puts a lot of effort into his videos. Balp does very avant-garde comedy concepts. A lot of the times in ways that actively deter videos, but they are so <laughs> fucking funny. They're all so Active, good. I, I, I misspoke. Actively deter videos. Actively deter Actually, viewers. I was gonna say, the, that um, didn't sound right. Uh, the... Jason is missing. Jason is Balp missing. Is missing. <laughs> we watched one on I, the last stream. I, the, my rule... My rule is, I make videos for... I make Balp content doesn't for doesn't compromise. Show, and then I make content for my personal friends and that's it yeah <laughs> if everyone else is extra yeah Bob's honestly videos, like sorry keep going i highly recommend watching Bob's future news video i have i i i highly recommend watching all of the balp on the street videos you can find balp on youtube at balp b-a-a-u-l-p um the uh I specifically the Bob on the street peanut butter stealer video is so fucking good <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty good uh <laughs> Scorpy, how about you? What's the video you've made that you want oh, people yeah. to see? Oh yeah, what's what's Scorpy's favorite? Okay, so I was talking about I was talking about how Balp doesn't compromise for anyone, and then I remembered Scorpy's in this call. Yeah, I learned <laughs> that from Scorpy. I'm gonna I'm gonna play top ten babies on the stream. <laughs> yeah, I I I don't even know where to start. Hey Scorpy, when I search <laughs> when I search Scorpy Civity, you are the the first thing to come up. Like, or, well, no, obviously. I mean, I uh, hope so. Top, <laughs> top, four, a word. top four babies of all time is the first result for your channel, for whatever reason. This is, uh, so yeah, when I talked about not compromising your artistic vision, this is Scorby's video, top four babies of all time. Artistic vision. Where do I begin? Q&A with the science uh... team. Q&A with the science team. Q and A with the top hey, ten babies. Hey, five iron. Where I've said I this begin? before. There will be more half. There will be more AI series that could be Half Life Two, probably later this year. But I want to express this point to you because I see a lot of question marks and exclamation points, like you're screaming it to me and questioning it. I don't know you shit. Half Life Two is going to be a video of me farting. <laughs> oh, awesome. why would you say that, dude? <laughs> I'm joking. I think it's cool. This is top four babies, anyways. Every time I watch some of my videos, it's always like the first time. Oh. <laughs> hey, let's just keep answering questions while this is in the background. Uh, Absolutely. <laughs> sure. Past and future. What media do you think gave you the most brain rot slash your sense of humor? Tim and Eric, Mega64. YouTube poop. Uh, YouTube, YouTube poop. poop. YouTube poop everybody. is the number yeah. one, always and forever. I used to watch like a lot of like regular TV and then I got a computer and the internet and then all of that <laughs> went out the window. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sample text. Food baby. Sample text. But me my, me before getting an internet, like a good internet connection was just oh scrubs is great, right? <laughs> Yeah, I had a very bold font. <laughs> very uh, someone says, someone says how is Scorpy the funniest human on Earth? Um, I agree with you. I think Scorpy has brain pathways that other humans don't. <laughs> Honestly, like I don't like the way the way Scorpy thinks is incredible, and I cannot understand how some of it's done. Uh, Tron yeah, I asks, a, tell. I think it's a lack of pathways. Like there's a lot of free space. <laughs> <laughs> so you take Scorpy, up, Scorpy understands comedy better than any of us ever could. Trog asks, tell Scorp about this to Wayne. Me appear on Act 4 as Emmett Calhoun. Okay. <laughs> you, could, you could be an Act Trog 4. Trog could appear as Emmett Calhoun. You could, be in, you could be an Act 4. <laughs> but did he actually die? Well, I would say actually... Um, probably the cube video because that's one of the only ones where I actually showed it to like a classroom. Yeah, the cube <laughs> oh, video. Really? Really? That's great. We showed that on stream. Like, rare occasions where I have to think about other people. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is top four babies, past and future. He I did the title. I think that's the, the title. one you did of the Mario game, uh, whatever it was called, is a really fucking good one. Oh yeah, I still want to play that game. Scorpy like made a game. Yeah, and I want to play it. Let's take. Let's put some other Scorby videos on while we answer questions. Why are you showing all the Scorp videos? Because what? he deserves because it. Listen, Scorby, listen. Scorby, Scorby deserves it. Scorby is, Scorby, Scorby is too humble to like pick one of these and say like this is the one that <laughs> show when it's happy. Yeah, show when it's happy for him. Well, isn't the full version here? Yeah, Five Steps to Happy by Thomas Chip. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> we can keep answering questions because all these videos can definitely be talked over. I'm like getting distracted. <laughs> I don't by want to know what Scorpius' inspirations are. That's a good question. Uh, for this yes, kind of stuff. Me. I guess so. I feel like like <laughs> the, these kind yeah. of things that you make are the most inspired. Oh no. <laughs> this just thinks this. I guess. Can we just do a Scorpius Q and A? You know, we we're literally planning to do that with the Star Wars thing, and like Scorpius turning into our Carl Pilkington at that point. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened to Mod Def? I don't know. We we always assumed uh, we think that Gary Falk Hunter. would be the Carl of the group. Mod Def's gone. You'll never see him again. Although you might see him in this chat from time to time. I have seen him in. I heard Mott Death is Garrett Hunter. I heard that. <laughs> I heard right. Mott Death bought true. the farm. And you are Rocco Bodhi, so you can confirm. Merch? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I've been kind of slow. I like got most of the merch store stuff set up, and then I needed to make a few changes, and I've been really lazy getting that set up. But uh, very uh -oh. soon. Very soon. We're probably going to have, like, four to five items to start with, and then add some later through the year. Play Naughty Bear. No. Items no. include coin God. block, uh, warp block, uh, mystery block, and boo Sword. with. We're getting really far away from Half Life VR AI now. That's okay. And you know what? It's so late into the Q and A. Especially for Wayne, when are you gonna upload people, the five minutes of you grunting in pain? It. Never, never, because you will absolutely take those gr grunts and put them in something dirty. Because I know you guys. Oh, Joshua, so update soon. Joshua, update. Oh. Joshua, update. Okay, one of you guys, some, one of my viewers, I don't know the name because someone told me this secondhand. One of you knew someone who works at Liarbird, the company that allows us to produce Joshua, and reached out to the people at the company, and they have offered to transfer Joshua's data to their new platform. So oh, he shit. may... He may be able to make a comeback. Probably just Joshua. I don't imagine we'll get all the voices, but Joshua is the one that we can that we would we revive. We are pulling every string we can. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> told me that I was in denial. Everyone told me that I was fucking dumb and that he was dead forever and that I had to give up the I had to give him up and forget about him and finish my mourning process. But no, I never the said that. Lives. That's not what any of us said. Balp did. Okay, Balp Balp did. Balp I tried believe to that Balp would say that, yeah. Joshua cured of COVID. Who the fuck Joshua? So many of you don't know. That's the, that's, that's the beauty of it. I have a beautiful son. His name is Joshua. He loves cashews and going to the farm. And he's not he dead. Cowboys. He loves cowboys even more Cowboy. than farm. <laughs> and playing with his boat. Cowboys. Cow Comment puncher, I said that, but I he loves to boogie oh. woogie. He loves right. cowboys. He Here's loves a good question. Movie. Here's a good question. Favorite TF2 Fun. Merc? Oh, that's a good one. Pyro. My favorite class Engineer. Pyro. Engineer. Pyro. I think in mm. characterization... Heavy. Favorite, epi favorite episode of Invader Zim? Could not tell you. Oh, favorite wait. class to play was the spy, for sure. Um, the uh, But yeah. I think, like, my favorite, my favorite character... I don't know. They're all so good! Oh, it's so my hard favorite, to pick. My favorite to play was Medic. But I feel like yeah. my favorite class... This is maybe sniper. What Not editing sure. software does Scorby use? Oh, um, we we films channel. We films channel. <laughs> you know, classic channel. Homebrew channel. I hope you downloaded it before they shut off the store. Scorby, Scorby uses Nintendo DS flip note. It's her tape three, the wet one. Um, the uh, Sony yeah. Vegas and a and a VHS player. What did Wayne do before streaming? I was a dog trainer. The uh, and it's crazy. I only quit that job. Uh, it well, today is March 8th, so it has been a month and six days since I quit my job, and it feels like an eternity to go. I was a dog trainer. Um, the uh, I worked for a big pet store company. Um, and the reason I didn't like my job, even though it was training dogs, Mar you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> 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 What I'm happened? out of chat. Hmm? I'm attacking oh. them. Oh, what I spoke wrong. Um, the uh, uh the insert um, tape three today is Wednesday, April Wednesday. I was dog trainer and I, and I loved it, but they made me, <laughs> but the but I hated it because they made me do things that weren't dog training and it sucked. Who wants to rub yeah. a shelf with a towel? Fuck that. I want to play video games. The uh, Resolve and I said that I said it to my boss. Things. I said my boss, I don't want to dust. I want to play video games. And then I quit and started my Twitch career, and I blew up in a week. I was <laughs> went from zero <laughs> views to four thousand. <laughs> the uh, 
It was instant. Jokes on, jokes on you, idiot. I quit my job and I blew up in a day. What fonts did you use for the science team's captions? I can't tell you that for, for weird reasons, but they're good ones. <laughs> for weird reasons. Oh, um, well, okay. The, uh, um... Uh, someone wants to know what it was, what it, uh, when we finally our character. <laughs> Looney Mooney says parkour. Yeah. All right. You just uh, talked cool. right over Bob's question, friend. What? Go on. Hey, don't talk over Bob. What's wrong? Q&A, like I said, this Q&A is falling apart at the seams. Oh, me too. What'd you say, Bob? I said, uh, someone wants to know when we like honed down our characters. Like when it was that we knew what we were going to be. Probably um, by part three, it was solidified. Wednesday last week. Ah, oh. I'm sorry, Salad Lord. Oh. Oh. Revelation. Hell yeah, Maggot Medic. Although I do, I miss working with dogs like a lot. Hey, Bob. Yeah. The only dog I see what? is my dog, who is downstairs right now. Her name's Angel. She's very pretty. What? Um, I'll show you a picture of her. <laughs> Bob, would you ever do stand-up comedy as Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Magician? <laughs> look, look at my dog. Her name's Angel. Angel. Dog name of Angel. Angel. That's a puppy. Dog puppy. Off the phone. She's great. She lives in my phone. She lives in your phone. That's a puppy. She's phone She's trapped in your phone forever. Let her out. <laughs> Let her out. Thanks for freedom. Yeah, it's just like I signed up for the job thinking it was just going to be dog training, and it's like, what? Jokes on you. You have to do everything else too. And I fucking and hate like, retail. Oh, Everyone ah. fucking hates retail. And I am like, and I. Th- I thank you in the chat, all of you guys, because you are the only reason that I'm not still working a fucking retail job. The uh, and I and I pray every day for that. No, that's not what you you pray for things that you want to happen. The you're thankful every I day. Pray, for that. I pray to the God of thank. I can't bring the dog to stream. She like can't come upstairs because of the, like the are nature totally, of like, where my room you is. Totally, you know. Western, There's too many things that she could get into. So like, Western I only hang out with her downstairs. Western religion, no good. You should just go all in on uh, Chinese religion and do what we do and pray to the god of money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. What Yu-Gi-Oh deck do you run? Final Countdown. I already knew. So I run Final Countdown decks. The one time that I played Yu-Gi-Oh, I did that. And, and Mira <laughs> fucking hated it. And I, I, the one time I ran a Final Countdown deck, I fucking won. Basically, what that is, is just a card that you play. And it's just, you play the card... And it just works like this. If the game is still happening in 20 turns, you win. And it was just like, it's it's, it's so stupid. It's such a dumb idea for a card. <laughs> so, it's, it's, so it's the fucking Pokemon stall team of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're pretty a much. dickhead. I, we, got to turn, we got to turn 15, <laughs> and I think Mira just gave up. The yeah, I was just like, yeah, we're, it's going to get to turn 20, so you win. Um, the, That's bad uh, when you break Mira's spirit. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Hey. No, it's not time. Yet. What was All I right. talking about? I miss the puppies. I miss puppies. What were we talking about? I don't know. Puppies. This hmm? is falling apart at the seams. I can't hmm? even remember what happened 10 minutes ago. Hey, Wayne, I think you should end the stream. <laughs> are, are hey, we I done? Pre- someone's thanked me for pronouncing their username right. Yeah, you're welcome. I think it's Virgin. I'm actually not going to do stand up as Dark Magician. I right, did. Absolutely. Absolute final questions while Balt talks about his Yu-Gi-Oh deck. What? Talk about your deck while everyone gives their final questions. No, I never played Yu-Gi-Oh. I did. I did say that I did as a part of my New Year's resolution, advanced New Year's resolution. I did say that if I ever went far enough with stand up, that I got a stand up special, I would dress like Kazuya Mishima. Okay, one last one last donation question. That's good. Is everyone, what would be your character's preferred clothing styles when off work? I think that's an interesting scope and personality. I've seen so many people draw Benry in a non-uniform outfit above all other characters, and almost all of them have him in like PlayStation One hoodies. It's really good. Like <laughs> like FPS Carol on Twitter drew a really good one that I like a lot. The yeah. uh, uh, two things. One, Bubby would just be wearing some fucking sweats. Just some. Like, Gordon gray can't ass take sweats. off the HEV suit. Uh, and two, my name did come from Invader Zim. I just could not tell you what my favorite episode was. We're going to talk more about the relationship between G-Man and Tommy in Act 4, in the Act 4 commentary. Why does a bunch of you use Tumblr? I don't know. It was just the site. It was the site to use back in like 2013, and I just stick with it. I don't use it nearly as much as I used to. All right, hold on. I was late to the game, and my friends told me there were funny pictures there. We got off track. (laughs) Uh, uh, Clothing. 
Fuck. I oh, don't the, know anything about clothes. The so suit the, is part of G-Man skin. I, man, so many people are asking me questions about like, oh, Tommy this, Tommy that. Can Tommy is such a small character like like when you come up with like when i came up with like the kernel of the good idea like there's nothing beyond that I, like yeah, as yeah. Far as i know tommy wears the same exact thing every day like Pee Wee herman <laughs> I, would imagine, I would imagine that tommy maybe like just wears very similar clothes like just the same kind of articles but with different colors like there's there's like two directions I can go with my answer, so I guess I'll go with both of them. Number one, Dr. Coomer wears flat textures because he's a 3D model in a video. <laughs> Number two, uh, fucking like suspenders and like dress pants and stuff. You're I feel like me the he comment... wouldn't just wear a Hawaiian shirt. Suspenders, suspenders, oh. that too. suspenders, is that good, but also too. the Hawaiian shirt. Like the the comic that I was talking about, that's not that I retweeted on my Twitter of like them going to Disney World has all of them in vacation clothes and they all look great. Like everybody, like. The, uh, specifically like, would be like a mix between foppish fancy lad and margaritaville inhabitants it's, i oh, thank you shrimp toast hell yeah oh. um the uh and thank you everyone else who gifted subs i'm not gonna be able to go through all the sub lists because there's so many spenders and um, the hawaiian shirt yes yes powerful yes, yes. powerful so fashion the they, they all look great Locks like like and, and I, i'm gushing over oh, this one yeah. person's particular art but like the the fucking Heck like short. the art like i love i love how they how they shaped each character like coomer coomer's like pretty stout and like kind of chunky uh I, Benry, I love people bubby, drawing him like that yeah. bubby bubby's almost like very bird like almost almost reminds me of the way that like fucking like miss fowl is designed except a little yeah. bit more pointy uh tommy's like very tubular very tall the uh kind of just looks like like a like a cute little dipstick in a good way gordon looks like gordon gordon looks kind of like a little shaggy the uh and then ben Reed's just wearing a big hoodie and is at disneyland playing his fucking psp which is like my favorite part of it he's not looking at anything he's playing heavenly sword on psp um on psp okay i'm gonna read all the donator names on and then we're gonna shut down i think the uh so while i'm reading shut these donator down. names do whatever you want um oh yeah before but people are gonna leave when i start reading donate names remember tomorrow at 7 p.m est we're doing a very special stream where you will be able to fax me things you'll be able to send me faxes with donations images and text we're playing final fantasy 7 we're putting you on a fridge we're giving away a fridge it's giving awesome. away a fridge we're giving away a I'm fridge. Sorry, did i just hear a free fridge we're giving Fuck away yeah. a fridge Damn. however it's not just you guys it's and oh, while I have a captive audience, before... I mean, I promise. Oh, look. Hey, hey look. Hey, hey, look. Hey, you see hey. what that is? You see what Wait. that is on the fucking. Wait, I know. I know. I know. I know. Oh, I know. The... What, what the fuck? Why is this playing? I don't know. What did you do? Get that off the screen. Well, well, I guess we're watching that again. I guess it's time. Uh... DK rap. <laughs> Hurry up. Hey, you know what's fucked up? Last time when someone did the DK rap. I said that if there was a DK rap, one or more DK raps in every single stream, including Act 4, that I would get the whole cast to do the fucking DK rap. So you are one step closer to that stupid stretch goal. Oh, fuck. You think I'm going to do that? Come on, come on. You out of your oh, wait, fucking this board? One, this one doesn't start with the... Uh... Oh, here we go. So they're finally here. Donations from you. If you know the names, you can say them too. Put your hands together for supporters of the stream. That's our invitation to this donation rap. Huh. Right. Well, Zoro Arc, Jenny Beans, Arsenic Kneecap, No Fling Clue, Spade Purple Tails, Hats, Artsy Squids, and Mars. Hats again, Stubborn Bloke. Has Dawn, Ocean Angel, Sub, Romer, and Great Trey, job so Chester 2, Godman Moose Man, Easy Game 69, Who? 2D, Supro Bot, Linet, 19N, oh shit, my scroll wheel is fucking broken, where's the your name? Corvette's Feline. Sovin and Nofing and Suburban. I need PD Keep Tapkin and a Garsman's Moose Man's Sam Kaiser, J Dude, and Miss Fuck. Oh shit, Sam Ms. Kaiser's Fuck is my cool. friend. Shout out to them. I know him. I like waves. Smugly D's. The Melon Lad. Looney Moon 2K. Squidly SQ2. 
Type Fi Dai, F Q E K, Lore, A Bunchy Xu, W F C Mu, that's not your name, Red Planet of Mars, and just a Bluetooth. Spoiled Citrus, Minpin F2, huh. Draken Lupin, Draken Lupin, they donated twice. So I say they named twice. Laminate, Vemonized Darkin, King Dead, Red Planet of Mars, and Red Planet of Mars, Hector Nectar, and Minpin, and Just a Blue Tune, Oxus Dev, Boxhead Paint, Old Man Henderson, 6969, haha nice, JXX, A Good Dad 1, and Jordan, and One Pichimo, and Ace of Hearts, Ace of Hearts, Jane Doe Walking, Arsenic kneecaps, Aussie Mander, Die Robots just gifted 10 subs, all also 2. And Agent JP, 008, and Hector Nectar, Spaghetti, Captain Dumas, and Frogwires, Comet Puncher, Lemonid, Old Man Henderson, again. Wait, you did this twice? Holy shit, thank you. And Oxus Dev, Starlight 64, Morn Blade Oxus Dev. Old Man Henderson. Wait, is something broken? Hold on. What, what, what? Walnuts, peanuts, pineapple smells, grape, melon, oranges, and coconut shells. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Walnuts, peanuts, pineapple smells. Oh, grape, melon, oranges, and coconut smells. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, hey. I, I don't know if this is a glitch or not, but Old Man Henderson donated 6969 like four times. So thank you so much. And thank you, Die Damn. Robots as hell. Thank you, Crime Boy 666 for another for a tier one sub. I hope you commit so many crimes that no one catches you. Corvus cool. Felines, thank you so much for the five gift subs. So many of you gifted gifted subs. The list. The unfortunate thing is that like when it comes to like gift subs and bits, it merges them all into one big history thing. So like it also mixes in all the follows and every time like some of you just donated a penny which like is great you could keep donating pennies i don't I mind give you but one like penny. if i had to read every single one of you that threw a single bit at me like i it would take fucking forever so thank you all to all everyone right. who subbed I, the way i see it is that the subs pop up in chat so like you get your recognition there the um and, and and also the other thing is that Die Robots gifts like a thousand subs a stream, and that also clogs up the queue, so it's like impossible. Uh, right. Thank you, everyone. Any parting words? Yes, uh, let me show You're myself streaming tomorrow. real quick. Aren't one of you guys streaming tomorrow? Yes, I am. Tomorrow, I will be playing. Uh, probably not Dark Souls now because I want to save some time, but I will be playing uh, a game called Main Assembly. No I got kisses. into the beta for that. Ooh, that was last cool. time. I also just got into the alpha building, building some robots and shit. I just got you to I, I just got into the alpha for a game called The Vigo, <clears throat> which is a VR game where you play as like a stone golem and you fight like a little like player controlled warrior. Like and if I can get that working on stream, I'll play that at some point. But yeah, so tomorrow <laughs> Gur's streaming um, the uh, and remember, I'm streaming at 7 p.m. It's a sponsored stream. So every view we get increases the amount of of sustainability it increases how well we do how well the company pays me i can't talk about the numbers because that's that's confidential but i need anyone who could show up to show up but remember it's not just about the it's not just about the bounty tomorrow it's not just about the sponsorship tomorrow is the day that we are enacting the fax machine donations you can donate money and literally force my printer you send a fax directly to me it comes out in physical tangible form the good donations they go up on a fridge that i'm going to have in the background the bad ones they get the shredder instantly <sighs> hey, um, words. Myself, any final words because i'm about to die i need to go eat a frozen yeah. pizza that's in Holly's my freezer gonna spit some more i'll go first all right i'm gonna chill myself too i'm not doing anything tomorrow go fucking watch gur and wayne but uh yeah. saturday sunday that's my regular stream time slots uh 1 p.m est uh i think i literally need to do one or two more streams and then i hit fucking affiliate baby I'm... yeah holly's holly's about to get affiliate and give me like another week or so and i can apply for partner Go watch um, Hollywood. We're going to um, get powers and we're going to form the team with the name that we haven't decided yet. I'm also probably going to stream this weekend. Maybe nice, Dark Souls. Nice, 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 I don't nice, know. Nice. Watch me if you want. I don't care. I want. I want, motherfucker. Okay. I want, motherfucker. I want it. Motherfucker. I want it. I'm going to have to our Twitch team. It's lentil soup and other soups. <laughs> it's not go watch, lentil soup. Go watch 